Hello friends. Welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to interface ultrasonic sensor with ESP32 using Tasmata. Today we are going to see how to create water level controller using ultrasonic sensor with ESP32. Let's get started. This is the schematic for the water level controller project. The ultrasonic sensor SR04HC is interfaced with ESP32. GPIO 12 of ESP32 is connected to the trigger pin of SR04 and GPIO 14 is connected to echo pin. The GPIO 27 is used to operate the 5V relay. The BC557PNP and BC547NPN transistors are used to operate the relay. So logic 1 will make relay on. 5V is connected to common pin of relay. And NO pin is connected to red wire above the 5 volt water pump. The black wire of water pump is connected to ground. Now let us install Tasmata on ESP32. Search Tasmata in Google and click on Install Tasmata. Connect ESP32 board with your PC or laptop USB port and click Install. Select the port and click Connect. Click on Install. Erase the device. Click now on Visit Device to get main menu of Tasmata. Go to Configuration page and click on Configure Module. Set GPIO pin 12 as Trig and GPIO pin 14 as Echo. Now set GPIO pin 27 as Relay and then save the settings. Again go to configuration page to set MQTT configuration. Set broker as broker.mqx.io and save the setting. Go to configuration page and set device name as Tasmata WLC and friendly name as WLC. And save the setting. Click now on console to visit console page. Now the device is connected to the broker and data is sent over the topic as shown. Set tele period as 10. Come out of console page and go to main menu. Now the distance sensor value is available here. Let us go to the home assistant. Here go to settings. Click on devices and services. Click add integration. Select MQTT. Set the broker name as broker.mqx.io and submit the setting. The Tasmata is discovered.
Let us search our device Tasmata WLC. Now our device is visible. Distance sensor values and WLC switch are also seen. Add these things into the dashboard. Now values are seen on dashboard. Let edit dashboard and add a card. Choose gauge. Set minimum value as 0 and maximum value as 15. Set define severity as on. And set green as 4.4. Yellow as 7.4. And red as 12. Set the name as water level. Set the entity as shown. And then save the settings. Now go to settings. And set the automation logic. Click create automation. Select create new automation. Add trigger. Select numeric state. Select entity as shown. Set below value as 4.4. Click add action. Select call service. Set service as switch turn off. Now set the target as shown. And click save. Give the name as turn pump off. Add new automation to turn the pump on. Set above value as 12. Now set service as switch turn on and set target as shown. Give the name as turn pump on.
Now automation is set. Go to dashboard. Now let us test this on the actual water level controller setup. Now we will see the setup to simulate the water level controller. This is the source tank you can see the submersible water pump. This is the ESP32 board and circuit on breadboard. This is the tank or the container which we are going to fill with water. The ultrasonic sensor is rested at the top of the container to monitor the water level. Now let us start the setup. The water level is 12.3 cm more than our trigger level of 12. So water pump is started. So the motor is stopped below low level trigger of 4 as tank is full. So with this we have successfully simulated the water level controller using ultrasonic sensor with ESP32. So that's it for the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video then please hit like button. Share this video with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.